fish, a great source of vitamins, minerals, and protein, but also a source of some toxic chemicals. It also depends on who you are. So if you're pregnant, if you're under 11 years old, you are gonna be more sensitive. Just how contaminated are the fish we eat? And what can we do to better protect ourselves and our families? A new guideline raising red flags about some favorites for a lot of people. This is really worrisome. Yeah. Steve Gargiola reveals which ones experts say you should limit or not eat at all. Michiganders love fish. In fact, across the country, America now eats more fish than beef. Kevin Dean and his brother own Superior Fish Company in Royal Oak. They supply seafood from all over the world to most of Southeast Michigan. On a weekly basis, in just fresh seafood alone, we go through about 15 to 20,000 pounds of seafood a week. For many years, Lonnie Zaid has acquired his fish one at a time. He comes to the Detroit River looking for dinner. I eat fish every week, probably every other day. That's the, the largest staple of my diet is fish. And fish is a healthy choice, according to local four Dr. Frank McGeorge, an avid fisherman himself. Fish is a great source of minerals, protein, and very heart healthy fats. So fish has a lot of health benefits. But most fish also carry the invisible threat of contamination. The larger the fish, the more it concentrates certain poisons in our water, like mercuries, PCBs, dioxins, things you don't want in your body. These metals, industrial chemicals, and pesticides settle in our waterways to become part of the food chain. Should you worry about that? You know, I've been doing this so long, since I was four years old, and I'm 50 now, so I, I kind of like fishing. It's chem like I said, it's chemicals and everything. True enough, but Dr. Donna Cashian, professor of biological science at Wayne State, says we do need to concern ourselves with contamination of fish. If you're pregnant, if you're under 11 years old, you are gonna be more sensitive to some of these compounds. Michigan's Department of Health and Human Services has recently published a comprehensive guide to safe fish in Michigan. Choose better. So um, you can pick fish that are lower in contaminants. Yellow perch is a great one in the state of Michigan in the Great Lakes. As a general guideline, bigger is not better. Yeah, I don't buy swordfish. I don't buy some fish that I know are very, tuna is another one, very high in contaminants. Stay away from bottom feeders. So the catfish and the carp both will eat at the bottom where those contaminants are really heavy, so they are getting more direct links. According to the Safe Fish Guide, you should choose fish like bluegill, crappie, or rock bass. Smaller fish, they are less fatty fish, and they are feeding higher up at the food chain and plankton, and so some, they're not picking up as much of the contaminants as some of these other fish. And as it is with real estate, when it comes to fish, it's location, location, location. And I don't want to be that person in the restaurant. like, where does your fish come from? And nagging the wait staff. But it, it does make a difference. And so there are certain areas that fish are going to be, uh, have heavier contaminant loads than others. The Safe Fish Guide says you should learn the three C's, how to choose, clean, and cook your fish. And you should limit how much you eat. And if you were depending on me, that wouldn't be that hard to do. Now, shh, you're scaring the fish. I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4.